Hello and uh, good morning and welcome to the video for this Skoda Octavia. This is the ambient model, it's the five door hatchback and it's a turbo diesel, a 1.9 TDI with an automatic gearbox which is quite a rare beast to be fair. O2 registration uh, has covered some miles, done 198,500 miles but has an absolutely brilliant service history which we'll come to a bit later in the video. Now it's just arrived today uh, from London, it's been driven from central London down to here to buy a new vehicle from us and uh, I've given it a little run along the road and a quick few checks and it seems to be all up together. The history is immaculate, there's a decent long MOT and the people who part exchanged it in were decent people and uh, we can tell generally things where uh, uh, it should sort of indicate a, a bit of um, budgeting and cost cutting etc. One is the tyres, well we've got Michelin tyres here, so that's a Michelin tyre, it's practically brand new. This is a Michelin tyre as well, and he's about 70% to go. The car's been over to Poland now and again with um, the headlight deflectors on, and the front number plate's a bit discoloured, we'll see if we can get some new dis uh, number plates for it. The number, uh, the Wheel trims are slightly scuffed all round, really. Well, it's slightly, pretty badly scuffed, actually. But new to the number, uh, wheel trims aren't that expensive. Michelin tyre there again, that's about 70% uh, to go. And another Michelin on the back here, and he's practically brand new. So all those tyres are absolutely spot on. Uh, rear wash wiper, high level brake light, three headrests in the back, a CD changer, CD auto changer, and there is a spare wheel in the back there which is inflated and some tool kit decent sized boot and in pretty good order okay remote locking works we've got two keys for the car and we'll go and have a look at the service history mode. okay welcome to the history and document section then for this Skoda Octavia firstly we've got the V5 showing four keepers in total uh, the last keeper has owned it since uh, uh, August 2009 uh, showing as a Skoda Octavia ambient TDI auto diesel car 173 grams per kilometer in silver uh, the MOT is valid until July July the 21st 2012 and there were no advisory notices on the MOT there and uh, this is pretty incredible here we've got a, a service book which is stamped up I think probably the most I've ever seen in my entire life I think in the trade uh, we can see first supplying dealer with the Skoda PDI there or pre-delivery inspection next stamp then was done uh, what well says next since 20k then we've got uh, 29,000 40,000 59,000 sorry I'm reading from the wrong bit here right not Phil doing that one then so they're 45,000 49,000 58,000 71,000 38,000 they're all Skoda main dealer there Vindis then we've got uh, 90,000, 99,000, 110,000, 120,000, 130,000, 139,000. Again, all main dealer Skoda. 150,000, 160, 170,000. Again, Vindis, a VW specialist at 175, uh, 185, 195. So last service done 195, date 1701 2012. So a pretty impressive service history that is. Um, it's two keys for the car, that's one there, and here is the other one, so two remote central locking keys. So there we go, let's return back to the car. Okay, welcome back then, so uh, manual, sorry, electric windows in the rear, three inertia reel safety belts for passenger safety, a little mark in the seat there, but uh, again, nothing too bad, and they're pretty clean actually, seats are pretty clean, pockets in the back of the seats there, the driver's seat has had a cover put on, on it, I don't know what sort of uh, condition it's like underneath, but the actual seat base is in pretty good order on the actual main seat yeah it looks I can sort of feel it it probably is a hold there so that's why that seat cover's been put on but it, it actually suits the car quite well it fits in quite nicely there's lumbar support height adjustment height adjustment the seat base as I said in good order the pedal rubbers pretty good order and the actual mark, uh, mat in the bottom there the protective mat in good order as well electric mirrors they work all the electric windows work that's the key remote locking I'll just fire it up for you. 198, 486 is the miles today. So there we go. All the lights go out as they should. I mean, to be fair, that engine sounds absolutely spot on. Coming up with a service now uh, indication, which uh, 
maybe that the car requires a service. I think the last one was done at 195, so it's on a, probably a 6,000 mile service interval. Or well, it hasn't been reset, that's what's happened. No one's reset it. And four speed auto, aircon's blowing cold, you can hear the compressor go in and out as you press the button in. So that's blowing cold, I can feel it actually blowing cold. And all the books and manuals are present and correct. There's a radio here. work heated rear screen all the washers wipers are all working fine there you go that's the washers working and the rear wiper as you can see in the mirror there uh, height adjustable steering column a little bit of wear on the steering wheel as you'd expect for 198 trying to work out why uh, is there a disc been left in there no. source auxiliary tuner As you expected, tuned into Capital Radio. Yeah. Let it seek through a moment. There we go. Radio is working. Okay, fans all working fine. Passenger seat in good order. Windscreen's actually in pretty good order as well. Not a crack or a chip or anything in that, so that's all pretty good. Okay, gearbox is fine. That's changing now nicely. That side there, a few little dimple dents. One just here, very minor, probably polished off that little mark there. Running around here, the boot's got uh, has had a knock and just grazed the paint or crazed the paint on the back there. Boot is fine. Little dimple dent just there on the rear quarter. Uh, scuff to the wheel arch has been touched in. Uh, this door here, a little bit uh, of a crease there. Uh, mark to the rear view mirror passenger side and scuff to the bottom of the balance there but uh, to be fair that actually is a pretty straight decent car that and if it's just traveled from London to Bath without any problems I think we can safely say reliability wise should be all fine okay Michelin shot then auto ambient thanks for watching bye bye